Hi, this is Brian Keefe, uh, the co-director of the Cardiovascular Performance Center, and I want to talk to you today about one of our most important tests in cardiology called the Cardiopulmonary Exercise Test. Now this is a test that really is, we can use from the most elite athlete to someone with very, very compromised exercise capacity. So you might think of a professional marathon runner as an elite athlete. On the other hand, in the cardiology world, we might see someone with advanced congestive heart failure. And we can use the exact same test through different exercise protocols to evaluate the physiology of the patient or the athlete. So what we do with this test is we use a form of exercise which most commonly in this setting is a treadmill or a bicycle ergometer. And while exercising, we measure the athlete or patient's blood pressure, continuous EKG, continuous pulse oximeter to measure their oxygen saturation. And importantly with this test, we have the patient or athlete wear a tight mask and measure oxygen inspired and CO2 expired. And we can use all of that information to gain a great deal of insight about the physiology or pathophysiology of the athlete or patient. So with that, we can say, is there a problem with the heart itself? I.e., there's inadequate pumping function of the heart, there's abnormal heart rhythms occurring. We can find out, is there a problem with the lungs? They're not able to extract the oxygen from the air we breathe and get it into the bloodstream so that the heart can pump it out to the muscles? Or could it be that the muscles themselves aren't extracting oxygen well because of weakness or uh, muscle abnormalities? Or we might just find that everything looks okay and the person just needs to change how they're training or exercising in order to improve how they're feeling. So most commonly we would use this test to evaluate someone who's feeling short of breath for any reason. Um, in the patient population, but for an athlete, we may use the same test to say, how do I run faster? How do I bike longer? And really we take the same information gathered from, from this metabolic cart and we can use it to help patients or athletes in different ways.